Hi guys, welcome back. I'm sorry I've been away for a little bit longer than I'd hoped to. It's just been a bit mad really, so I'm sorry for the brief hiatus, but I am back and I promise that content will be a lot more regular now. I know like people say this over and over, but truly I mean it. I've really missed it. So do make sure you subscribe, come say hi, and I hope you enjoy what's coming next from me. And I just thought because the weather has been so so miserable at the moment, like we had a brief bit of sunshine earlier in the week, I thought I'd do a little video on 11 things that just kind of keep you going when it feels dark grey and horrible and you just don't want to get out of bed. Here are 11 things to kind of help you through because they certainly help me through. So the first thing is this lovely candle from Origins. So this is a feel good candle um, and it has ginger, bergamot and clove in it and my gosh it just smells like absolute heaven and does what it says on the lovely brown glass jar which is makes you feel good. I always like this when I've had an especially horrible commute and I just think a candle really really lifts the mood, the whole vibe in your house. I always try to have a couple of candles scattered just to make it feel a little bit more homely. I'm now kind of going from one extreme of like a lovely candle that makes you feel super snug to something to kind of get you outside despite it being miserable and that is a new pair of trainers. I am desperately trying to get a set of abs before my birthday in June and um, thankfully it's the end of June so I've got that little bit longer to really push myself and so I treated myself to a pair of trainers. These kind of take me from work to a after work run. They're just from Adidas and I picked up this pair from Shoe and they are just this gorgeous gorgeous grey style which I absolutely love. They are called the tubular something or another and my gosh they are so so comfortable. There's so much support in the arch and because they have that knitted fabric upper they're just so flexible and just kind of work with you throughout the day especially when you're on your feet all day it's really good to have such a comfortable shoe and I love love these these have been getting me out on evening runs even when I've not wanted to leave the house there's so many great styles in shoe at the moment so definitely check them out if you're after a new trainer or if you're needing a little bit of extra motivation to get you back up and running quite literally a good pair of trainers are quite a nice start and then because it is absolutely freezing I've been wearing a lot of vests and my grandma literally laughs at me every time I ring her now she's like Sarah Rose are you wearing another vest and my answer always is yes <laughs> I think the other day I had two on so that just shows how much of a grandma I am I think the fact that I'm more of a grandma than my actual grandma there's quite a lot about me and my homely cozy vibes um, and now this lace kind of cami style from New Look has been my kind of go-to and it just looks so good worn under literally everything and I think that's mainly down to the fact that it's got this lovely lace detailing all around the front I really love it I think it's so so versatile I think this is literally under five pounds and my gosh my cost for wear on this must be insane because I'm barely out of it it's either in the wash or on me um, so the week after next I am popping to Cornwall with my family which I cannot wait to share with you I think I might vlog my trip there just because I love Cornwall so much I've been going there literally every year since I was born it's always had a really special place in my heart and I'm so excited to be going back um, I'm going to be staying at the Watergate Bay Hotel um, which Jules have a partnership with and I'm so so excited I literally cannot wait to share it all with you and the best part of it all is that my dog is coming with us and I just cannot wait to have a couple of days with him and so because I live in London and I'm not lucky enough to live by the coast or by a beach or anything as delightful as that. I miss that whole kind of summer vibe. So when I stumbled across this fragrance I was so excited. It's part of the Mesa Margiela replica range and this one is called Beach Walk and it smells utterly incredible. The whole collection is available in John Lewis and I believe off the top of my head there are 10 different fragrances that are all kind of set to replicate a memory and kind of trigger your connection to certain places. And so like the description of this is sunkissed salty skin. This is such a good fragrance because it literally transports me from dreary rainy cold London to a lovely warmer sunnier time. It's very quickly become one of my all-time favourite fragrances and not only are grey days horrible on your mind and your mindset but they're pretty demanding on your hair. Um, so this hair 
hair oil has been an absolute godsend. I can literally never ever correctly pronounce the name of this brand. You all know it, so I'm just gonna show it and not actually embarrass myself by messing it up. But it is their Elixir Ultimate. You literally just shake it all up and spritz into your hair either during the day, when you get in from work, while your hair's damp, before you dry it. It's just so good at adding that little bit of nourishment as and when you need it. And it just really helps your hair feel that little bit more nourished, cared for and loved. And a great hair oil is such a good investment because it literally takes you through the entire year from beaches and summer holidays to really cold windy winter nights. It just really helps keep your hair in a tip top condition. So love this. And then because it is of course utterly miserable outside, you spend more and more time indoors and just adding a few little bits here and there, whether it's a nice photo frame, a nice print or a really cute cushion. Like there's so, so many ways of just adding a little bit of personality and fun to any room in your house or flat really quickly and easily. It's such an affordable thing to do. I picked up this really cute cushion from Urban Outfitters and I've just been dotting it around the house kind of depending on where I am and what I'm doing that day. It's so funny how little bits here and there can really change your mood and can make you feel that little bit more at home, especially when you don't own your home and you're quite limited on what you can do at home. Um, little accessories here and there do go a long way. And then because my skin gets so dull and grey and I basically become translucent, it's so important for me to have a good highlighter and it took me a long while to join the party on this one and get around to buying it, but my gosh I'm glad I did. Um, it's just Charlotte Tilbury's very love-worn bar of gold. It's basically a highlighting brick. Unfortunately mine really annoyingly um, broke in half. Um, I know a couple of other people whose have also broken in half but I wouldn't let that deter you from it because it is so so gorgeous. It just gives you such a fresh highlight, a really natural glowing, not too shiny, certainly not too glittery and gives the illusion that you've had a little bit of vitamin D or you've had a lovely facial. Either of which at the moment I would very happily have. I utterly utterly love this brick. It truly is a bar of gold and such a treat. And because inevitably over winter your skin takes quite a battering going from hot to cold quite quickly, dealing with aircon, dealing with heating, dealing with pollution, a bit of everything, it's so so great to have a good moisturiser and this one has become my possible all-time favourite. I love it. It's so rich, so hydrating, so nourishing and I really feel like I've got a whole new face in the morning when I wake up after applying it in the evening. Really annoyingly I've lost the lid. I've literally searched everywhere for it and I just have no idea where it's gone. It is Liz Owl's Super Skin Overnight Mask. It's got Persian Silk Tree Extract, Pomegranate Flower Extract and Bariti Oil um, and it just gives you the promise on there that you will wake up with brighter, smoother and nourished skin which I can attest to. It really does kind of transform your skin overnight. This is an absolute dream in a jar. It is also cruelty free which is something I'm actively looking for in my beauty and skincare regimes especially since I became a pescatarian um, basically at New Year. The fact that it does everything it says on the jar and is entirely cruelty free gives it an even bigger tick in my book. And then I don't know about you but I just like to feel cosy and snug all day long especially when it's grey and horrible outside so a nice pair of jeans and a cosy jumper are real staples in my book. And so the first is just a pair of button front jeans. These are straight leg jeans from Next. They've got a button fastening, they're a lovely light to mid wash and then I think my favourite thing about them is that they've got such a great detailing around the hem. It's on kind of both sides. It's a really kind of distressed, love-worn, raw hem which is of course very on trend and it also adds that little bit more to your outfit. And then my penultimate go-to is a trusty knit. This is just the pink m &S one that literally everyone has. You'll have seen it probably like 100 times on everyone. It's just a super cosy knit with amazing giant fluted sleeves and I just think it's a lovely way to add a little bit of colour into your wardrobe. A blush pink is super on trend and you could potentially take this to the beach on a bit of a chilly summer's day with a pair of shorts. Um, it's so cute and so cosy. And then last but by certainly no means least is my ultimate lip balm. I thought all the labelling had rubbed off because it is so so used. <laughs> it's just from Clarins and it's their instant light comfort lip oil and it is an utter dream. I don't know if you've tried it already but it comes with this inc incredible 
for applicator which is heaven like it's an actual delight to put on it's so soft so nourishing and the wand really applies so beautifully you really feel like your lips are being hydrated to the absolute max and then obviously because you're spending so much time in there's so many good series at the moment I have been completely obsessed with a series of unfortunate events on Netflix because A it's genius, B I love Neil Patrick Harris and my gosh the guy who plays Lemony Snicket is so so genius. I love his voice, it's like an automated yet husky American accent. He kind of narrates the whole series and did this little speech about literally and figuratively and I was kind of quoting it for the whole week much to the, the absolute bemusement of everyone at work because they haven't seen it and I was like you have to watch it, it's so so good. Oh I love it, I really hope you've seen it and if you haven't definitely try and watch it this weekend um yeah so i hope you've enjoyed seeing kind of the things that i love and the things that get me through if you'd like to see anything else from me do comment below and let me know what you'd like to see and i will see you very soon bye